What's up, Barrett? What's up, Barrett? <laughs> what you playing? Melissa. Sweet Melissa. Sweet Melissa. <laughs> I like that song. Yeah. That's a good one. I like it. What we have here, Barrett, is not a box of paper towels. It is the toolbox that I bought on eBay and I'm excited because so I have a bunch of these little crappy plastic and it's all unorganized see <laughs> so everything's all spread out here's a little brass hammer that I left out of the video of the stuff that was in the in the class materials course materials so let's see if I can get this open let's see it's funny I don't even know where I got this knife, but for some reason it's always sharp. <laughs> I guess it's because I only use it to open letters with. Little, little time. The box, I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's not as big as it looks in this box because I really wanted it to fit on my desk. Oh boy, there it's a box in a box, shoot. What is all this? Aha, I'm starting to see something that looks like a toolbox. That is cool looking, Barrett, look at that. Hey, it's got a little rust on it, but I can paint it, no big deal. Oh, look. Check that out. That's nifty. And it has this little latch right here, look. Oh, that pops up. That pops up and allows this to come up. I wonder why this, why this wouldn't come open. Little handle. There we go. That's cool. Drawers, baby. Oh, what was that? Somebody's hacksaw blade was in there. Look at that bear. It smells like a, a machine shop. Isn't that neat? It was kind of muggy and rainy outside, so I decided to do this inside. The lighting's not that good. You can see window behind is washing out the video, but I can see this. That's nice. So I can see heavy stuff in the bottom. And then as you go up, lighter and smaller stuff. Maybe files and punches up here and then Maybe cleaning stuff, patches and stuff like that, cleaning rods, the long stuff up here. So if I thought I'd give you an idea of how long it is. Let's see. There's zero. There's 12. Eyeball that. Put the zero there. So it's, it's about 20 inches. 20 inches long and this is what I was concerned about here because I did want it to be like a desktop. It's eight and a half inches. That's not too bad. I'll just clear all that crap out <laughs> back there. I'm not going to need that toolbox anymore. And uh, it shouldn't take up too much more room than I already have here. Where's my inches again? <laughs> yeah. Eight and a half, eight and a half inches to there. So that's cool. 
So I still have my little bench, a little, and I gotta get rid of this box. This is the, this is the coarse materials that I showed in the other video. What would be cool is if I had to go someplace, I could just lock all this stuff up and handle looks like it's pretty secure. This thing's gotta be at least, what, 50 years old? I'm trying to decide whether I wanna paint it or not. I may just leave it alone. I mean, I really don't think the rust is gonna hurt anything. And I hate to, I hate not to put it into use right away. So, I may just get some hoppies <laughs> and rub it on the rust and forget about it. There, you know what? This thing still has felt in it. I just dropped that in there and the felt is still good. Look at that. So I don't want to take all this out and paint it. Um, I think I'm just going to leave it alone. Merritt, look at these. They, uh, this is something that's funny. I never have figured this out. I got these little, this little set of carving uh, chisels and tools from Japan, but they won't fit. <laughs> you can't just put them back in there. They have to like. <laughs> it's very, it's very tedious to get them back in there. So what I'm going to do is find a drawer for them. So far I've got punches. And this is, this is really cool. I used to have to take these crappy punches, you know, wrap tape around them. Guess what SDI sent me? Yeah, baby. So we have proper punches. And they also sent some hardened punches or steel so I would say I'm punch rich right now <laughs> this is going to be like a small screwdriver drawer maybe I'll put this stuff but I think I'm just going to take all this now and put them in here oh there's an allen wrench room so dark but these are just all little I don't know if you saw um, my little carving video that I have I'm gonna take that little cricket stock right there and carve the artisan logo into the side of it in that cool area but um, <laughs> there's the template that I was using oh I cut myself and watch these exacto that's the little template I was using for the carving. I keep that. Maybe glue it on there. <laughs> but hey, it shuts. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'm going to keep that little box uh, anyway. Look at that, Barry. It fits in the drawer. <laughs> cool. Here's some Rusty's rag. Rusty's rags it goes up there in the cleaning department. Barry, you think I ought to put the sheath from hell in there? <laughs> <laughs> this is the sheath I made for my BK2, <laughs> which is a heck of a knife. You want to do some batoning, get you a BK2. That's like a quarter inch thick. But I made this sheath. I have a video on it, and it took me forever, and it's so big and bulky that I never actually wore it. I would strap it to my backpack, and uh, they did have a neat little compartment for a, a barrel rod. Do you think it'll survive in here, Barrett? <laughs> in the bottom drawer? <laughs> There's not much else in here. I got my AR wrench, a brass hammer. Neat little hammer. This is the gun cleaning kit that came with my SDI advanced uh, gunsmithing course. I think it's still too new. The, the news hasn't worn off yet. I was thinking about taking all this stuff and putting it into the top. Uh, drawer with a top shelf <laughs> which I'm thinking about making the, all the cleaning uh, stuff I'm still taking uh, advice on the stuff but I think I may just leave this alone until at least I'm done with the course <laughs> this is what happens when you clean up and get organized I found a little package of artisan patches I thought I was out isn't that cool Barrett? all nice and clean so I may have to do a little 
giveaway or something here soon. Hint, hint. Get close to 60,000. Would it be tacky to put my life member badge right there? Glue it on there? <laughs> there it. <laughs> There's the cleaning stuff. What do we do here? We put little, little miscellaneous. Got my small screwdrivers, miscellaneous part. This one is punches. Hey, there's a whole drawer, Barrett. We put our boxers in there. And then we got all the heavy stuff in the bottom. Man, it's still got a bunch of stuff to go through. What's over here? Oh, chisels or yeah, whatever. So, isn't that cool, Barrett? When this goes back on, can I do it one-handed? It's like, I thought you were doing a closing. <laughs> I'm trying, man.